When I fly, I don't want to care about wide seats, short seats, reclining seats, how much booze they're going to give me, what food I'm getting. When I fly, three things I want to know. Will the plane take off? <laughs> when, it, when it's up in the air, will it stay in the air? <laughs> and when it comes down, is it coming down where they said it would come down? <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> Get on airplanes. Good. The language. The language of airlines. Planes are never late. Have you never said? They're delayed. <laughs> You get on the, when they, the tape, and there's always, you see, there's always these words that they use. Words are very important, they're psychological, wordy. You get on an airplane, sitting on the runway, ready to take off. That's when the hostess always tells you about the things that can go wrong with the plane. <laughs> they never tell you that when you're buying the ticket, do they? <laughs> they never say, the wings could fall out, or oxygen will fail. None of that. They wait until you're sitting there. Not only are you sitting there, but you're strapped. <laughs> you're strapped into this bloody thing. And then under the guise of talking about the doors, they're giving you a blessing. See that? I'm sorry. <laughs> and use words of... Uh, if by chance, if by chance, the pressurization of the cabin drops, oxygen will be provided. <laughs> That's bloody nice of them, isn't it? <laughs> They've got you up to 35,000 feet. They're about to asphyxiate you. No, we'll give you some oxygen. <laughs> and it's all that. Oxygen will be provided. If an oxygen mask drops down in front of you, please place it over your nose and mouth and breathe. <laughs> Where else, for Christ's sake? <laughs> That's the only part of your body you can breathe through. You're not going to stick it on your arse. <laughs> and breathe normally. Normally. Can you see yourself 35,000 feet? And these things drop out of the roof like used contraceptive. <laughs> and you're going to go, oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. The pressurization of the cabin must have dropped. They're providing us good oxygen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very interesting, isn't it? Yes. Crap. Let me tell you, if you're sitting there at 35,000 feet and those things drop down in front of you, the first thing that happens is your anal nerve goes. <laughs> jumbo jet that is 500 anal nerves. So the quicker the thing you get that thing over your nose, the better. <laughs>